you're tuned to JDQ Sports. My name is Jeff Griffin, 2004 U.S. Paralympic athlete. My message to the world is never give up, just don't quit. Got this bicycle, man. Hey, excuse me. Uh, how are you doing this morning? All right, you? Good, pretty good. Hey, um, I'm doing a documentary on Jeff Griffin. Who's Jeff Griffin? Jeff Griffin? Yeah, I don't know who you're talking about. Jeff Griffin, he's a um, 2000, oh, hold on. He's a 2004 uh, wheelchair basketball player for the Wheelchair Olympics. Heard of them. Or the Paralympics? I've heard of Olympics and all that stuff. Uh-huh. You know, for the uh, impaired, but uh, never, uh -huh. uh, you know, watched it. Uh-huh. Because to me, it's depressing. Oh, really? Yes. Why? Because I imagine that it could be like, I could be the same way because I come damn close to it. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. What happened? Skydiving. Oh, really? Yeah. What, uh, did you, did your chute not open or? No, I come down out in the desert. I had to overshoot the drop zone because so many people running around. I didn't want to come in and hit somebody at 30, 25, 30 miles an hour. So I went off out in the desert and I picked out a spot I thought was a nice sandy little dune sticking up there. Uh huh. So I went down there and come to find out about that far underneath that sand was nothing but granite. Really? Rock sticking up. So I busted my leg in two places. Busted my ankle, my foot, and crammed my hips up into my spine. Really? And uh, it left me there screwed up for quite a while. So, were so you when able I walk? see things like that, it uh, it reminds me very how close that I came and how scared I was from having my spine pinched. Mm. You know, and uh, there for a while I couldn't walk, but after you know a while, you know, it was just bruised. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, so. You know. But how are you able to walk again? Huh? How are you able to walk again? <laughs> they put steel plate in my leg and uh, bolted it in. And it's just those little reminders. That, uh, and then when I see something like that, I get thinking how close I came. Well, you know, it's been um, nine years since Jeff uh, hurt himself. Yeah. And he hasn't been able to walk. He broke his back in three places. Oh, Jesus. And uh, he crushed one vertebrae, but... Um, he still, like, he wants to get his message out to the world, like, never give up and just don't quit. Well, you can't give up. I mean, if you want to go on living, you can't give up. But, I mean, if you don't, I, but you've got to remember there are things worse than death. There's a lot of things worse than death. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't realize it, but if you've ever been in a war or been into the foreign countries and that and seen what's going on, mm -hmm. a lot of people welcome death. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's just, uh, you learn. Mm -hmm. They're going to try and bring the gold back home for the United States hey, in basketball. That ain't the real win. The real win is him competing. Uh -huh. That's the real win. Right That's there. right. That's right. And the really thing that he really wants to win is to be able to walk again and move again. That is the big win. That gold medal ain't shit. He's got a real struggle on his hand. Not some half-ass gold medal on the ribbon. He's got a real fight on his hand. He still believes he's going to walk again. He um, he told me, he's like, Randall, you know, the doctors told me no, I was never going to walk again. The only thing I can give him is the same thing that uh, the guys gave me. Break on through to the other side. That's it. You just got to keep hitting that concrete wall until you're through. Once you're through, then you can feel a little bit satisfied with yourself. He's starting to get some feeling back in his legs finally well, after nine I mean. years. He's got to keep trying. He's got to keep his nose to the wall and keep hitting it. Uh -huh. I know it's depressing. I know it's disheartening. Uh -huh. But if you really want want it, you just got to keep hitting it. Just don't quit. That's it. You can't. If you quit, then you're going to go into depression. You go into depression, and then you might turn to suicide. And it ain't worth it. Life is very precious and very sharp. A lot of people think 100 years is a long time, but it's not. The older you get, it seems like the faster the years go. Mm. But if you got something to occupy your mind with a struggle, something you can fight, go for it. Just keep hitting that wall. It's like people job hunting, they got to keep hitting that street every day. They got to keep looking. Just like he's got to keep on struggling. He can't stop. Yeah. What's your name, sir? 
Jack White. Jack White? Mm -hmm. Mind if I use this? Can I use Not this for a documentary? Not in the least. Okay. But just tell him I said, you know, break on through to the other side. That's about all he can do. Uh, he might come down to Venice Beach here and play some hoops out here on Venice Beach. Well, with, uh, I might drop people. over to see him, but I, I just... Stay tuned for more Griffin to Greece videos. You're tuned to JDQ Sports.